Welcome everybody to Bedford Camera. I am Jeff Moore and with me, who's always nice to have a visit around, is Jimmy from Sony because he comes bearing gifts. Jimmy has a nice gift today. What do you got? Hey Jeff, um, today I brought the new Alpha 9. Alpha 9. So. Um, New camera from Sony, one of their new flagships because a lot of photographers out there who are in the need for speed, this is the guy right here. So Jimmy, what improvements have Sony made regarding the Alpha 9? Uh, the biggest improvement we've made is uh, we've incorporated a brand new sensor with the Alpha 9. Mm -hmm. We've got a 24 megapixel full frame stacked backside illuminated image sensor. So this camera and this sensor combination is really key for sports and action because of its speed and capability. And with the 20 frames per second, we're talking zero blackout now, right? Yes, this camera, because of that stacked image sensor, we can achieve 20 frames per second electronic shutter with zero blackout. Mm -hmm. So the camera does 20 frames per second continuous shooting, mm -hmm. and you have an electronic signal that will clarify that for you when you shoot. Mm -hmm. Now the camera can go 20 frames per second in a silent mode as well. So if you're working in a very intimate environment in sports and action such as golf, mm -hmm. then having the electronic shutter being completely silent at 20 frames per second is going to be a worthwhile solution for our professional photographers. Now there are some indicators to let us know that we are shooting and we're capturing. It's our shoot timing display. And we can set this to let us know that it's indicating that we're taking pictures. So if we're doing 20 frames per second at electronic shutter and complete silence, when we take pictures here, you can't tell us taking a picture unless you're looking at these indicators that we have set up. And one of the cool things that also was an improvement because of the 20 megapixels and the 20 frames per second is the autofocusing speed. Because you guys made an improvement on how fast that actually goes through the frames per second, am I correct? You're correct. So again, that premise with speed and uh, the capability of the camera, we've got a really robust autofocus system that spans 93% of the image sensor mm -hmm. and it covers 693 autofocus points. With this, for tracking and uh, exposure, we're able to achieve 60 calculations per second for predictive autofocus. 60 per second. So it's, it's, it kind of helps. Yeah, thinking really hard yeah. while it's looking at mm -hmm. autofocus. The sensor, the predictive autofocus, the phase tech autofocus sensor is looking at our image and calculating at very high rates of speed. So the bottom line, of course, for a lot of sports photographers out there is a lot fewer images that you would just drop because nothing's in focus. Correct. Okay. Um, now, uh, another thing that they've uh, kind of made in improvements is the design of the camera. One is they've improved the battery. They've actually made the battery bigger. Yes. Okay. So in order to drive this sensor technology with the stacked image sensor and to achieve the 20 frames per second and the processing capability, we have redesigned the battery it's our new NPFZ100. It is 2.2 times greater in capacity and, and battery life than our previous W series battery. Okay, and of course, there's a, a new grip yep. that comes with the battery. And uh, an additional, um, you, you can, from one of the cool things, uh, accessories that I saw, you can get a grip extension without actually getting the full vertical grip for yes. the extra battery. So that's, that's quite convenient. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, it's a little nice. It just gives you an extra reach for uh, your pinky mm -hmm. so you have something to hold on to without having to sacrifice a, a large battery grip. All right. And another thing I want folks to see here, back design, being the video guy, if uh, my Jimmy, my videographer back there, can get a close-up shot, you can see where that record button is. They've, sh uh, they've moved it. Yes. They moved it from, it would normally be about right there, and they've moved it close to the viewfinder. Um, now, one of the things I was kind of curious is if Sony was hearing the needs of the user, and if that was probably part of the campaign to say a lot of people are asking, you know, if it could be moved. Was that a possibility here? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, one of the uh, key components in designing this camera was looking at the pain points of our consumers mm -hmm. and getting the feedback, direct feedback, from the working professional. And this is the premise behind this camera uh, that is designed today, is to offer that solution for that working professional. So the ergonomics, the layout of the camera, some of the changes we've done to this system versus the A7. Uh, we added a custom mode dial and a uh, for our drive mode, and then also for autofocus mode. So we had direct access to these settings, which is gonna be important for any professional photographer. Of course, we did notice the movie record button got reassigned, and we have a dedicated AF on button on the back side for back button focus users. One other thing I want to pass along is they've also increased storage. 
instead of just one memory card slot, you now have two memory card slots. Yes, that is correct. So as a professional, we give you the capability to have dual SD card slots. We're able to maximize the lower SD card slot for the SD, XC type, UHS type two cards. So mm -hmm. we're able to maximize the speed at which the camera can capture and then write to the memory card. All right, Jimmy, it's always a pleasure. Jimmy from Sony, thank you so much for stepping by. You're welcome. And uh, hey, the Alpha 9, it is, uh, it is available for you, okay? If you are a sports photographer in the need for speed, this is definitely gonna be the camera for you. Until then, we're gonna go play. See you guys.